on being an ambassador. I never once thought I would be an ambassador. Many looks did not take the path of becoming one due to the study involved, as well as the danger encountering encountering possible species that could be malevolent. Gurus have the most exacting task, though, and this designation is even rarer. I can't possibly aspire to my sister's level, but I'm glad I chose to become a star gypsy, as we are affectionately dubbed. The Lux are a curious race, but being an ambassador is exceptionally unusual. One step above it is fourth dimension guru, where quantum leaping can only be acquired for the mere thought of the destination or the time. An orum isn't needed for the transport in this case, but in extreme situation it can be worn around the neck in pendant form and accessed physically. Though we are academic and enjoy fun and play, like physical fitness, dancing, singing, and so on, the vocation of ambassador is a lofty calling. We are the brave souls who observe, help, and sacrifice. The patrons are the same for us, so who are we to do any different? I do aspire to become a guru, but this takes more training and focus. Someday I will make my journey complete. For the moment, I enjoy zipping here and there in my room, which provides everything I could possibly need for travel. It is comfortable, spacious, doesn't really like it is on the outside, but trust me, it's extremely vast and economical. The patrons taught us all about traveling in this way, and in order to learn how to fly one of these babies, you have to be educated. The process is arduous and, frankly, a bit challenging, but we Lux adore the thrill and taxi nature of first flight. The reading isn't exactly light, <laughs> but one, once, when once one gets the feel of the craft, you become one with it, in a sense. I sense I am becoming ever so closer to meeting my true goal of guru. Though it may take years or even eons to do, uh, Elon, if, 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 eons when I do, my sweet Tesla always told me to make best matters in life. The best matters in life are worth exerting all one's effort for, and I couldn't agree more with him. Meeting Mr. Teeter once more. It had been a chance encounter at first, but realizing the nature of everything I, I had, a gut twinge I would be seeing. John Teeter once more. He took me to have a meal with him, which humbled and honored me greatly. He told me of a dark and dismal time to come for the earth. He said only a few, a select few were awakened to the truth, and many were slu sloughing it off as complete fabrication. There's no, really nothing to worry about. I've already taken care of this in my own universe, he said, whispering his secrets to me. I didn't want to create a paradox myself, so I kept the information hidden deep within my multi-chambered heart. But in your world, that means you are under duress of the catastrophe, I said a bit sadly. He nodded and patted my hand. Yes, but it was worth it for this version of Earth. These people are coming together, closer and closer every single day. It took the stock market crashing once again, political chaos and riots to cause them to see that this methodology is simply dysfunctional. Greed and immor in our immorality were the cause initially. I was wrapped and dumbfounded by the wisdom of the traveler's words. I had become a cog in his mechanism, unwillingly unwilling to initiate this change with the thoughts I had been sending out to people of to the people of Earth. I planned to stay share with them what I knew and assist as much as I could. I was giving Earth a gentle nudge, a reminder of potential and possibility. So if you see a woman who has purple hair smiling gently as you as you uh, smiling gently as you as you meander by, know that this is simply a friend and a conspirator for the good. I must not stay long but what and whatever I may do today, tomorrow, or the future, the impact that I make will be positive. Regina